Have you ever wondered what a movie might be like if it was about a sentient glory hole? If you have wondered this, you should definitely check out Deep Dark, a 2015 movie written and directed by Michael Medigla, which I have probably completely butchered his name there, but there you go, anyway, that's what it is. And uh, this really focuses on this young artist called Herman who's living in his mother's basement and he's a very passionate artist, but he's going nowhere. No one likes his work, he becomes a little bit of a joke kind of like the local art world and he's going nowhere so he decides he's, he wants his own place to kind of be able to kind of ex, you know express himself so he rents this kind of old dilapidated apartment from his uncle and there he finds this little hole in the wall which turns out to have some kind of intelligence behind it and this hole basically sort of initially communicates with him via written uh, means and eventually starts speaking to him and they kind of develop a relationship and this hole essentially you know, encourages and, and sort of helps Herman become a massively successful artist. But it all goes awry when this whole is a little bit kind of uh, jealous and has some difficult kind of relationships with other people that are involved in Herman's life. So, bizarre movie, definitely. Now, um, this isn't without its kind of dark sexual twinge here. Now, a movie about a glory hole and a guy, you probably guess where it might end up going. So, I have to say, even though this film is kind of bizarre, it's not really a straight horror film. There are some horror elements, but it's also a, a kind of psychological study. It's kind of a thriller. It's kind of a comedy. I will ban it under the horror thing here because it's clearly some kind of non-human creature here. Um, we're not really given any explanation to you know the backstory here, which I guess is obviously by design, but it, it, you know maybe some of it would have helped. But nonetheless, it, it was an intriguing, an intriguing premise, and certainly original. The main issue for me is that, uh, well, I have two issues. The first one being that no one questions the what what this thing is. No one really is really that freaked out by it. No one really kind of tries try to find out what the hell is going on. I mean, let's let's be honest. If you put yourself in this kind of show, you would you would be freaked out. You would not understand what is going on. You want to find out why and what's going on there. But that never happens in this film. And to be honest with you, this film is quite slow as well. There's there's not a lot of of uh, of, of plot here to be quite honest with you it is really more of a character study than more than anything else a film that it kind of reminds me a lot of is actually the Joaquin Phoenix movie Her when that film that basically his character fell in love with kind of an operating system and it's a similar thing here but this time rather than operating system it's some some kind of like living creature within this kind of like this wall the difference with this one is the kind of, the, I guess, the, the, the creature is more of the driving force being in love with Herman more than the other way around. And uh, obviously there's jealousy and kind of other kind of like things that are explored. There are other characters that do interact with the, the whole as well. But overall, I felt it, was, it, it needed a little bit more to it. There's, for example, a, a kind of a subplot involving uh, Herman's, um, I guess you would call a landlady, who is this kind of like a sort of nosy neighbour type. And we never really find out what happens to her. She seems like she might have some kind of importance to the plot, but it ends up kind of going nowhere and it's kind of just dropped. So it not a lot happens, but nonetheless, I found the, the, the premise that we did have quite intriguing. Don't get me the wrong, this is not an, ex, an effects driven movie. There are a little bit of kind of like, uh, you know, effects I guess but um, not a lot so don't be expecting a big creature feature or gallons of blood there's a, like I said there's a little bit going on here but not a huge amount and I have to say the other thing as well is I found Herman's character somewhat unlikable so as a protagonist you don't really root for him you kind of um, you find him quite especially in the beginning of the movie you, he, you, you're really not on board with him so, so though, I, though I, there are some elements of the film that I did like and I did enjoy and it's original and intriguing. Overall, it was a little bit of a disappointment, but certainly not a car wreck. So I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.